I asked my friends, do you ever wonder how to convert an improper fraction to a mixed number? She said, actually, my brother showed me how to do that yesterday. Then she sang a song. It went this way. It went this way. It went this way. When there's an improper fraction to convert, divide the top by the bottom. so hard my brain started to hurt I texted my friend for some more advice she sent me this song it was clear and concise so clear and so concise to convert a mixed number to an improper fraction three simple steps will give you that satisfaction multiply the whole number by the bottom then add to the top keep the denominator the same and then let the beat drop an improper fraction has a numerator that's greater than or equal to the denominator a mixed number has a value that is greater than one that's represented by a whole number and a fraction Ooh, yeah. let's take a look at these circles and describe the amount that's purple it's four thirds, so we could write four over three. But one and one third seems a little clearer to me. Converting to a mixed number makes sense when describing the amount a value represents. For instance, consider five halves of apple pie. Two and a half seems easier to visualize. And now let's have a little more fun describing why we might want an improper fraction. They're the best for values getting multiplied. Improper fractions are also easier to divide. Just look at one and one half times one and one fourth. Three halves of five fourths is easier, of course. Or dividing three and one third by one and one third is harder than dividing ten thirds by four thirds. An improper fraction has a numerator. numberop.com for exclusive content, lesson materials, and more. Thanks for watching.